Hello, hello, hello. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that was Jen's USB, you're right. That was my USB. I'm so sorry that I'm so late today. I have no excuse. I was so irresponsible and I I just, I'm very sorry. I, I want to be the kind of person that when I tell you all I'm going to be here at a certain time, that I am there at that time. And I'm so sorry that I failed you today. And I love you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you everybody who's still here after I was so fucking late today. Look who finally decided to show up. Please, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hi, bitch. For shame, Eva. Hello, Mika. Hi, Mal. Sup? Hello, Evil Falcon. Ray, Zen. Hello, Oh man, you all look so beautiful, Danny. Sabigal. Listen, someday us procrastinators will learn. We, ne I never learn. I never learn. Yeah, I'm procrastinating that as well. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. I um, it basically was a series of bad decisions. I decided to take a nap before stream. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna wake up at 11 a.m. Well, I, I woke up, I ate breakfast, and when I eat something, it makes me so sleepy. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back to sleep a little longer, but I'm gonna wake up at 11 a.m. because at 11 a.m., that's when I need to start working on the showcase to make sure I'm done with it on time. And then I snoozed all the way. I slept all the way till 12.30 p.m. And then I finally started working on the showcase at 12.30 p.m. But that was not enough time. I always underestimate it. I'm like, yeah, if I just focus and go fast, I can get it all done. But it was not enough time. <laughs> Jen, waking up bright early to enjoy a nice Valium Bailey sandwich. Listen, I don't know if what's wrong with me, but anything I eat makes me so sleepy. Like, and that was a mistake to eat breakfast before I worked on the community showcase because I get so sleepy when I eat. Procrastinating sounds like a lot of work. I'll just leave it for later. <laughs> so basically what happened was I took an EP nap and I procrastinated until 12.30 because I convinced myself that that would be enough time. I was like, yeah, I know in the past sometimes it's taken a really long time if there's a lot of pictures, but I can definitely do it. I'll just bend time and space and go faster this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go faster this time and I can get it done in that amount of time. <laughs> Metabolism go crazy. I wish I was like that. Sleep and I don't get along. Oh, I wish you were like that. Well, no, I don't know. It's a trade-off though. Grass is always greener because it kind of sucks to always get sleepy after I eat because sometimes I don't want to be sleepy, <laughs> but I'm always sleepy after I eat. Metabolism go crazy, go stupid. I'm glad you took care of yourself. No, Mika, don't be glad I did a bad thing, but thank you. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. I'd rather you be late and feel well than be on time and feel bad. Aw, Mika, you're so incredibly sweet. Thank you. Sometimes people are like, yeah, but I feel bad because it's a pattern for me. I feel like I'm late a lot and I'm trying to break that pattern, but it's so hard to stop being a lazy, little procrastinating, little un time underestimating freakazoid you're definitely a lot i don't know about that one i appreciate you thinking so but i don't know i don't know how true that is but anyways i'm just really happy to see you all jen waking up bright and early and enjoying the nice i'm i'm excited to see you all i'm so happy you all are here and i just appreciate you all so much for still being here even though i let you down and i was a whole hour late thank you for being here just gotta be an hour 15 minutes early tomorrow yeah also okay this is the other worst part i'm so i was like oh um no, like since i was an hour late maybe i can go out I can go like stream an hour longer to make up for it, but actually I have a date night, dinner night, dinner date planned tonight with my boyfriend after stream. So I can't go an hour early tonight. So I literally am just late and I'm doing nothing to make up for it. But if I, I could start an hour 15 minutes early tomorrow, I would be down to do that. But the question is, would you all even be here and be available in your days to be here an hour and 15 minutes early tomorrow? You are here now, that's what matters. Oh, Anton. Lodix, hi. I'm always late. I was late to brunch with a certain someone. True, but I didn't care. Spiegel, when you all were late, me and Justin were like, okay, they have kids, so it's probably hard to get going anywhere, like pack up and get everybody in the car. We were very understanding. Also, I was like, yes, I'm not the one who's late. I love it when I'm not the one who's late. I love it when other people are late, because then I'm like, this is making my life choices more justified <laughs> i'm not alone in always being late you will make time for it yes i would be here i have nothing going on i really don't have a lot going on okay i'll, I'll come here an hour and a half early tomorrow 
an hour and 15 minutes early. I wouldn't be here tomorrow early. Well, then it's canceled. No, I, I, I'm gonna, um, I will start tomorrow's stream an hour early, okay? How about that? Promise. Kinky promise. <gasps> Wait, my alerts are. No, there. Alicia! Hi! Alicia! Gup, spiral gup, spiral Thank, you. Gup shape. Thank you for the 48 months. I love you. You're the best. God, I love Alicia so much. Also, did you know Owned by a Penguin? My friend Alicia streams and usually streams earlier than I do. So if you're awake at an earlier time than my streams and you want somewhere to hang out, I know a good place and it's called twitch.tv slash owned by a penguin. Boy, if, I, if you love that, then I'm the friend for you. And that's why I love you and I'm so glad we're friends, Spiegel. I love people who are late because then I, I don't know, I just relate to them and it, it, yeah, <laughs> that's why. I almost missed my therapist time today. Late has been a pattern for people around me today. <gasps> Wait, uh, but you made it though, right? You only almost missed it. How did it go? Was it good? If you don't feel like talking about it right now, you don't have to, but I was just wondering like, in general, like, did it go well? <laughs> SFX bot. Oh, thank you, Zen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that sorry, that Windows sound was on my end. SFX bot is coming online now. The Yippie's not playing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a disaster. But are you guys ready? Are you excited for the community showcase? It's the March community showcase. Are you ready to say goodbye to March and look at all of our pictures from the month as we move Yippee! into April? Yippee! There it is. Now it's working. I'm ready. Also, we have all these lovely SFX for everyone's use. None of these are not sub only. These are everybody can use them. Yeah. So whether you're subbed or not, you can use these. Um, ah, ooh, <laughs> clap, <laughs> proud, cheer, poggers. I love you. Very good. Because today is all about cheering each other on. Today is all about gassing each other up, telling each other how cute we are, and telling each other how great their photos are and how wonderful each one of us is. So we are going to be cheering each other on and hyping up each other's pics today. You. Are you ready? I love you. Now, before we start, I love all of you. I'm so excited too, Mika. I'm so pumped for this. And we have lots of great pictures this month. So you're, get ready. Oh, wait, let me hide the fishing. Okay. So, before we start, there is a poll at the top of the chat you may or may not have noticed. Um, but, yeah, if you can see the poll, I hope it's working for you. It's a, actually not a poll, it's a channel points prediction. If you would like to make a channel points prediction on what percentage of the photos in this showcase are gonna be from our beloved, beautiful, wonderful friend and mod, Spiegel22. And this poll started because if you haven't been to a showcase before, Spiegel always submits so many pictures and um, there's been times where Spiegel was the majority of the showcase and I say that with all the love of my heart because Spiegel always submits the best pictures. Spiegel's whole family is so cute and I love seeing what they get up to every month and um, yeah so that's just kind of like a loving poking fun at Spiegel if you would like to make a bet on that. How are all of you? Are you all ready for this? Are you all excited? Do, can you believe it's already another month? Did you all remember to pay your rent? Don't forget. It's past the first. You gotta do that. I'm about sleepy tonight. It might not be here the whole time, but I'll catch up tomorrow. I'm so sorry I was late, Anton. I'm glad that I at least got to see you before you fell asleep, though. I have five times the number of cuties to share about. True, Spiegel has so many cuties in the family. Furry cuties, human cuties. So many. I'm thankful for Spiegel and Mal carrying the mod submissions because I never take one of anything. One day you're gonna submit something to the showcase. One day. You could submit a picture of your drinks, of your tiki drinks for something I made. A bit, yeah. I may or may not still have done my taxes. I haven't done mine either, but I'm going to. I just always procrastinate my taxes till the last minute. <laughs> but I gotta do it. Uh, I gotta do that soon, yeah um april 15th yup 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 it's not your fault i had a busy day i saw ducks oh you saw ducks oh that's lovely i love that for you then you gotta take at least a uh yeah a pick of our weekend starters so we know what's what it looks like when our weekend begins all right without further ado here we go we're going into it the first category is picks of you so Brace yourself because you're about to see some absolute cuties from this community and it's 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 hard to handle. So I hope you're sitting down, buckled in, 
holding on to something, holding on to your armrest because these cuties are gonna knock your socks off. All right, are we ready? Are we prepared? First up, we have Mal, our beautiful, wonderful, amazing mod pant Keikos, who is so cute. I love this picture of you. Your eyes look so pretty and I love that top. That top is so cute. Um, I love you. Yes. I love you. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm not wearing socks. Smart, so now you don't have to worry about your socks getting knocked off. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, I did take a pick of the, the pineapple caperina totally with the mace completely not oh, yeah, ever been done before, discourse. unafraid to but you reference have or anyway. not reference, put it in a blender, shit Lofi, on it, hi. vomit on no, it, so eat cute. it, give birth to it. No, knocked your feet off. <laughs> no, Spiegel was ready and prepared and didn't wear socks just for this and still still got their feet knocked off, it's so sad. And next we have another absolute beauty in the community, Ray! I love Capital Ray so much! Ray is right there in the chat! Tell them how beautiful they are! I love you, Ray, you look so cute in this picture, and I love your Talented, smile. Talented, brilliant, cutest, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, <laughs> yeah. totally unique, completely not ever been yes, done before, Ray, unafraid to reference yes, or yes. not reference, put it in a blender, the is, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. And the caption is just a gold, good old fashioned mirror selfie. I don't often wear my glasses, but I probably should and I feel like cute. Yeah, you do. You look so cute in your glasses. I like them. They look so good on you. Next up, we have Kiele. Kiele all the way on the left in this picture looking so cute. I love that little crochet top. That's the one that Jacob picked out for you at the thrift store, right? I remember last month, um, Jacob and Kiele did like a cute date where they went to a thrift store and they picked out outfits for each other. And I'm pretty sure I recognize that crochet shrug from that. And it's so cute. Has it become a staple in your wardrobe? I don't know if Kiele is here right now. Aww. Yes, you have started a dangerous precedent. <laughs> I'm going to stop doing talented on every pick, but it's in my heart. It's implied. It's the implied silent talented. A thrift shop top is fucking awesome, right? Right? Prettiest person ever. OMG, Kelly, you look so cute, right? Oh my god, Kelly, you look so cute. And so do your friends. Even though it's incredibly, the background is incredibly blurry, I can still tell your friends are all very cute. Oh, and the caption is with Jacob and friends, D and Hannah. And then we have, I'm in this one! Ah! So we have this submission from Spiegel. We got, we're fortunate to get to meet up with Jen and Justin for brunch when we visited Nola. Look how cute everybody is. We got Justin on the left, me, and then we got Dragon is what he goes by online. And then uh, we have Aaron, Spiegel's wife. And what is your, um, I don't know if I should say his actual name. What does he go by online? Yoshi. <laughs> So we have Yoshi, Claire, and Spiegel all looking so beautiful. What a beautiful fucking family. Yoshi Jr. Jr., thank you, yes. Yoshi Jr. Jr. <laughs> Vanessa, hi! Hello, welcome to the community showcase. Um, I recognize several of those people. Yeah! And we all converged. And wait, did I, re did I read the caption? Yeah, I think I read it and then I immediately forgot that I read it. But yeah, we got to meet up with Spiegel and his family um, for brunch while they were visiting Nola. And that's what Spiegel was referencing earlier when he said he's never been late to any brunches. But it was okay because we, me and Justin got there. We got a table. We got a baby high chair. And like twice a waiter came up and tried to take the baby high chair away. They're like, you don't need this. And we we're like, yes, we do. There is a baby coming. <laughs> Uh, but also he has a normie name so it's fine okay so i can call him by his name you look exactly like the picture i look exactly i look exactly like myself oh my god <laughs> i was a little sweaty on this day though we've been walking outside <laughs> please excuse the baby is coming he walks low. <laughs> i mean she <laughs> Yeah, the baby is coming. She walks low. Yeah, this is a rare gen in the showcase. I'm in the showcase again later. You'll see. I'm in the showcase like three times this month. Um, oh, I lost my button. There is a baby coming. It would be terrifying to hear as a waiter. <laughs> I've come to get brunch while I'm in the process of later labor. I need this baby high chair. Y'all are so cute. You're so cute. And then we have more cute pictures of Spiegel and the fam. My sad boy Simon, aka Yoshi Jr. Jr. in his natural state at the amusement park we visited. <laughs> but, but wait, 
He's not always sad Aww. though. Ah, that smile is so cute. <laughs> this is such a cute picture. It's that dragon in the background that I blocked out with the caption speech bubble. Sorry, dragon. <laughs> I don't know if I should say his real name. Okay, well, his real name's right here. So I, yeah, I forgot that the, his real name is typed into the showcase. Okay, Simon. His whittled nose. I know. He's got a little rosy nose. It's so cute. <laughs> Uh, and then more cute pictures of the Speak family. Sometimes Aaron even joins us for pickies. Aaron's so pretty. I love you guys. You all are such a cute family. Oh my god. You can really see, you can see that Simon looks like both of you. Especially in this picture right now with his face right next to both of your face. It's very apparent. Aaron is such a badass. I agree. I agree. And then we have a cute baby picture of Claire. <laughs> Not time for babies and hurt folks. So oh, is this after you hurt your leg on the baby ramp? I mean, I'm sorry, on the really scary hard parkour ramp for dangerous adults. I forgot what that was. I love you! Wait, what? I love you! <laughs> that right before his first ever real roller coaster ride with both of us. <gasps> really? That was his first ever real roller coaster ride. There's a picture of the roller coaster later in the slideshow. But that is the whole first category of pics of you. Can we get a round of applause for all the beautiful people in this community who put themselves out there and send in pics and look so freaking cute? I love seeing your cute faces. Thank you for submitting. Yeah, I love all the hotties in this community. We are blessed. I forgot to announce the next category. Category two, something you made. So let's see all the arts, crafts, and various other things that people made this month and how people interpreted the phrase something you made. Everyone interpreted it a little bit differently. The first one is from Ray. Evan and I put together his birthday Lego set and found the perfect place to display them in our kitchen. This looks so freaking good. Oh my god, I love this. I love that it's a mix of like mature, elegant beauty and also like quirky, cute, nerdy interests. It's such a good freaking blend of both and they look so beautiful. That looks so good. This is like goals for kitchen decoration. Dude, I was just looking at this Lego set. <gasps> Are you gonna get it? Wait, is this all one Lego set? These all come together. A woody dinner there, yeah. <laughs> Insect collection. Pete, hi, welcome, what's up Pete? How are you? I fucking love like, yeah, Legos are awesome. I have the same one. I made it earlier this year. <gasps> Do you have it on display in your kitchen amongst flowers looking just like this? It's such a cool collection, yeah. It looks so good. I especially like the butterfly, it's so pretty. And then we have a submission from Mal of some birthday decorations that she made for her roommate's birthday, which was so cute. And I bet your roommate felt really special. Um, was she surprised? Daddy British, hi! What's up? But this is so cute and I love the color choice for it. I love the I love that color green. Aww. Bug Legos seem superior since they probably don't have buttholes. Excuse me? Are there what Legos do have buttholes? Um, the human Legos don't have buttholes either. She saw me make them, so not very surprised, but she did appreciate it all. <laughs> but still, I feel like that would make me feel really special if someone did that. So I, I bet she felt really special for that. That was so sweet of you to do. And then we have Aoife's nails. I made a pick of my nails to have something other than food to share. These are so cute. I freaking love these. Oh, are these the tra are these trans colors for trans day of visibility? They don't in the US. Do wait, stop. Don't tell me that Legos have buttholes. Stop. My Lego tiger has a butthole. You're gonna make me Google it. Very good. Is that real? Are you messing with me? Are you doing a belated April Fool's joke? Do they actually have the tiger that has a butthole? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I love Ethan's tats too. Man, these are so cute. Not necessarily, but I go for blue with either pink or yellow a lot. I love the pastels. They're so cute. It also works for like Easter. I don't know if you celebrate Easter, but it's definitely very spring vibes. And then we have this amazing artwork by Ultra Fail. Just a little dragon puppy. This is so freaking cute. Ultra Fail, I absolutely love this. You're so talented. Hi, Kylie. Welcome. How are you? 
<laughs> Welcome to the community showcase. We're admiring everybody's pictures from this month and artwork. Oh, is that supposed to be Spyro? I didn't even get that. Oh. I didn't even put that together. I promise it has a little pink booty hole. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> To poop from oh my god, you're right. That was so messed up of me to try to deny like go tigers the right to poop Wow, I'm evil. I have a picture. I can show you of the Lego tiger. Okay, let's see it. Can you link it in the chat? I also brought receipts <laughs> 10 out of 10 spiral. This is so cute All right, and next we have this one was submitted by my boyfriend Justin and this is me in the picture, but Justin was the photographer. Um, Justin took all the pictures for my photo shoot that I did on Fancy of me dressed as Ari from League of Legends. And he did such an amazing job. We went to the botanical garden. Oh, you already linked it. Oh, I missed it. Let me see this. <gasps> yep. That's a butthole. That's a, that's a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> but Hoggers. yeah, this me. I I didn't have the tails, so I I just put in I put in like I added it in the tails and the magic ball. <laughs> but Justin took the picture, and uh, Justin does such an incredible job. Uh, whenever he's taking photos for me, and he's so good at it. Chat about to be blasted. Why is chat about to be blasted? <laughs> and next we have a Gundam made by Spiegel. Finish. I why is finished in quotes? Finished a Gundam I got for Christmas. RX7802. Does RX7802 mean anything to you all? Is that like the model of Gundam that it is? It's beautiful. Oh, you did great. Yeah, <laughs> finished. <laughs> oh, because I'm charging the energy, energy ball. True. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get your joke. <laughs> That's a copy hobby ha if I ever seen one. It looks so good, Jen. Thank you. Uh, you were faster than me. I had to scroll through a bunch of pics to get to the tigers, but Zen had that bookmarked. Zen, that's the first bookmark on Zen's browser bar. <laughs> the picture of the Lego tiger butthole. Um, it's not finished because I didn't make all the extra gear yet and I also need to panel line it. Ah, it looks so good. I thought it was finished. Um, didn't have the tail added it in post doesn't <laughs> the energy orb was not added in post the energy orb was real i made that with my hands okay this is what i meant when i said everybody interpreted this category differently for things i made <laughs> but here's three things that spiegel made just three cuties being cute together <laughs> they're so freaking cute they're gamers Baby gamers, the question in all our minds, does Gundam have a butthole? Can you answer this question for us, Spiegel? Yeah, it's one of Zen's always open tabs. <laughs> Technically, yes, it kind of does. The butthole spot is where it mounts on the little flight stands. Oh my god, I was not expecting you to say yes. <laughs> Spiegel judges, I made this. <laughs> And also, this is another creative interpretation of stuff I made. But Spiegel submitted these incredibly cute deviled eggs and said, my mother-in-law brought us over some themed deviled eggs for Easter dinner. These are so amazingly cute and I love them so much and I want to eat them. I especially love the little chicks coming out of the eggs. That's so cute. And I also like that your mother-in-law made it and then you said, I made this. <laughs> Uh, you use the royal eye. <laughs> Something you all made. Aww. Someone mentioned me submitting them in this category last month, so here we are. I, I love it. It's so cute. The royal we, yes. Credit to the artist. Yeah, <laughs> credit to the artist. <laughs> to be fair, Spiegel did credit the artist in his caption without with, by saying more than just credit to the artist. Although Aaron did most of the work, damn, Colin Spiegel out on the last one too. Are you saying that Spiegel can't claim this one or this one? <laughs> Credit to the artist is what I should have put. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, now I want a deviled eggs. Same, I love deviled eggs. I'm a, I'm a deviled eggs girl. All right, can we get a round of applause for all of the things that we made this month? You all are amazing and beautiful artists and I'm so... I'm so proud of you and amazed at everything you made, especially those deviled eggs that you definitely made, Spiegel. All right, are we ready for the next category? The next category is pet pictures. This is arguably the best category, and I'm so excited. There's a lot of submissions for this one, so you all are in for a good time. Are we ready to see some cute animals? 
I gotta try doing some art. <gasps> you should. I would love that. I would love to see your art here. I am being insulted. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just too fun to pick on you. I'm sorry. I hope you know I love you, Spiegel. I love you dearly. Yes, bring in the animals. Here we go. I thought I was ready. Oh my heart. This picture of Tails is so cute. This is submitted by Mal Pancake Ghost with the caption Cozy. Aww. Also, can I just say again, I've already said this to you before, but I love the way you decorated your room. It's very cozy and very cute. You made a good cozy oasis for Tails to get cute and cozy. In. Yeah, cozy little sweet pea. Yes! <laughs> Same. <laughs> Uh, that fire was too good. Gave me an injection of inspo. Yes, I love that. Oh my god, I can't wait to see what you make. Just a little guy. But we have more cute babies. Look at this picture of Pixie from Kiele. Stress, love, and zest. Queen Pixie, parentheses, cat. The, <laughs> the reason that she put parentheses cat is because she submitted multiple pictures. But I, it just looks funny when I put the picture by itself. <laughs> <laughs> Cat. This is such a good picture. I love this picture. That is a cat. Thank you. I didn't actually know. It. Thank you for telling us. And then we have Muffin, parentheses, Sleepy Boy. He's so freaking cute. Look at those big moofy jowls. I just want to squish his face. Aww. That's dead on. Absolutely a cat. Yeah. <laughs> that is a sleepy boy. Pixie is so funny. The name Pixie or the actual cat Pixie? And then there's one more ant fur baby from Kiele. Dobby. Dumb looking boy. <laughs> Poor Dobby. <laughs> this picture is so freaking cute. Look, this is the perfect. <gasps> Loopy! Yeah! Thank you! I love the fur baby too. Happy 77 months! I love the fur baby. <laughs> Get Dobby's ass! <laughs> Oh my god, Tara 3, Luffy! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Luffy. Thank you for always supporting me so much. Love you, Luffy. Muffin is so big, I love him. I know. And Dobby looks so... This is a perfect example of puppy eyes. Like, when I imagine puppy eyes, this is textbook. Uh, anything Dobby is asking for, Dobby's gonna get. I'm just saying. I know, those big eyes. Yes, take everything I have, including my love. That's how I feel, too. <laughs> <laughs> Not Dobby bashing. Listen, I'm pretty sure Kiele said this with love. Sometimes dumb looking is a compliment, you know? You know, what, do you not, what, is that not your goal for uh, your future lover or family or friends to call you dumb looking? <laughs> it's the truest expression of love. <laughs> a pixie the cat. Yeah, she pops up on stream sometimes and it's really cute. Oh. <laughs> All right, what? Uh, this one is. Oh no, I spelled capital Ray wrong. No! See, this is how you can tell I was rushing. I was zooming. I was like, gotta get this done. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, Ray. <laughs> but look at all these cute pictures. I got so many cute pet pictures this month. I even snagged a photo of Vanny's cute little Toby's. Also, yes, the beans. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Cat Patrol Ray. Mm. Undubitably. I love the picture of the toe beans. I want to go like that. I want to do a, a gentle little high five to those toe beans. These are all such cute pictures. I love the one of them next to each other looking out the window too. So cute. Thank you, Cap Cap Patrol Ray. I would die for her toe beans. Yeah. I would die for any one of her toe beans. I would take a bullet for her toe bean. And then we got this really cute picture from Mika of both of their pets together. This is actually the only picture I got of the two of them together this month. My cat is Melody and my dog is Rascal. Rascal's a red fox lab mix and he's getting to be a bit of an old boy, but he's still my baby. He'll always be a baby. No matter how old they get, they're a baby. Always. They look so cute. They're, they're sleeping in the butt to butt maneuver. That's a very advanced maneuver. The booty to booty. Ray, you're so right. I took Toby and pics this month too. Yes. And you didn't submit the Toby and pics. Yeah, what beautiful babies. They're so sweet. And then we got a really cute picture of Spiegel's doggy. Just a snoozing girl. I love it. 
<laughs> so freaking cute. I love this sleeping position. It's it's just like it looks like um a toy dog that's fallen over. <laughs> they just have their legs straight out. <laughs> I will put them in the Discord later. <gasps> Yay! We get to see more Tobies! Rejoice! Tobies, Tobies, Tobies. Can't believe we got cat feet pics for free. I know, right? We're so spoiled. And then this one's also submitted by Spiegel. I was gonna ask you what this means. Ellie on, upon her island of relevancy. <laughs> this is a very cute picture. But what, what do you mean? What does that mean, island of relevancy? What does it mean? <laughs> Look at those eyes though. Those are some cute baby eyes. I love that she positions herself on the tiny little mat. <laughs> and then we get more pictures of Spiegel's cats with the caption, they didn't miss us at all while we were on vacation. Hey, that's a good thing though. The, the, oh, oh wait, I just realized it's sarcasm. I was gonna be like, that's so good that they're independent though. And then I'm like, wait a second, Jen, brain, compute. This is a picture of all three of them crowding around Spiegel. <laughs> this is sarcasm. <laughs> She's so relevant, true, true influencer. It's a wrestling thing, but she also, also she was just sitting on that tiny little thing in the middle of the DMS hallway, I love it. Ellie kind of does that too. I have like this little cow rug in my room and Ellie will sit right on it. it it's so cute. They do like sitting on little rugs and little little small areas in the middle of bigger areas. For some reason, I thought we could only do one pick for each category because my brain is mush. I couldn't remember. Oh my god, no worries. Yeah, you can do as many pictures as you want. Let Spiegel be a guiding light and example to all of you that you can submit as many pictures as you want to. Disco Hamster, hi, welcome. Yeah, I was in such a rush that I forgot how sarcasm works. Listen, it's hard through text sometimes. Give me a break. Kyle, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Hey, you're two years older than me. We're almost birthday buddies. Almost, kind of. If you squint your eyes and tilt your head. Oh. <laughs> this one is submitted by Ray. Oliver sold out, y'all. SMH. I can't believe Oliver accepted a brand deal with Chewy. Do you have no integrity? Do you have no morals, Oliver? <sighs> I can't believe that. <laughs> wow, I'm so proud of you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm proud of you. Get your bag, Oliver. Get your bag. You accept that sponsorship. I support you. I'll go use your code on Chewy. Everybody go to Chewy now and use the code Oliver at checkout. Yeah, he's an entrepreneur. <laughs> I saw this on Insta, it's so cute, it's so cute. I saw this on Insta too, right before I stream. I was like, ah, I seen that picture. <laughs> but now all of you get to see it. And that is all of our pictures for uh, furry friends for this month. Thank you everybody who submitted pictures of all your cute pets for all of us to enjoy. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent category, amazing turnout this month. <laughs> Oh, I, I gotta turn off that timer that says our March community showcases for two. So a bit here. We are at the community showcase. It is happening. One second. Okay, I fixed it. All right, are you all ready for good food picks category four? I am so, sorry to deprive you of Merlin and Essex content. I can't believe you would do this to us, Kim. It's really messed up. Next month, I will submit so many pics. Yes, I look forward to that. Yeah, fix it next month. And then maybe we'll think about forgiving you. All right, is everybody ready to get hungry? I hope you all have eaten today because there's some good food pics in this category. Is everyone ready to see what people ate this month? Leon, hi, welcome in. Welcome to the sh community showcase. How are you? All right, food category commence. I'm already hungry. Okay, well, this is going to make it worse. Here we go. First, we have Aoife submitted this um, special popcorn that she made. Made a casia, I think that's how you pronounce it. Made a casia honey olive oil thyme popcorn. I learned since that what we call acacia is not real acacia and it's called black locust in the US. So it was black locust honey, my favorite honey. I have never heard of acacia honey or black locust honey. 
so I don't know I don't know what that entails but I love honey if it tastes anything like regular honey I would absolutely love this it sounds so good <laughs> I'm in danger <laughs> It's a tree. Oh. What about black locust? So is that another type of tree? I'm hungry, so yes, please send me food that will make me get up and make food. Okay, yeah, this is your motivation. This is motivation to anybody who hasn't eaten yet today to go make some food. Go get something to eat. Feed yourself. Oh, it's the same tree. I see. We call it acacia. You call it black lotus. Okay. It does. It looks scrumptious. And then we have some more submissions from Aoife. Very the, good! The caption for this one is salad. <laughs> this salad looks so good. Uh, I love that big chunk of- is that feta in there? This looks like a delicious salad. And then we also have lentils. I love that spoon. That's such a cute spoon, but this looks also very good. Delicious. What is that herb that's sprinkled all over the lentils? Or is, I guess those aren't the lentils. Those are potatoes. Lentils are beans. Sorry. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> but what's the herb that's uh, sprinkled all over the potatoes over there? Oh, not really feta, but similar goat cheese. I love goat cheese. I can't eat anything right now because I have a blood test. <gasps> Evil Falcon, look away. <laughs> Close your eyes. Don't watch this category. I know what Acacia is only because of Minecraft. Thank you, Minecraft, for my education. For everyone's education on this earth. <laughs> Need to Google? Oh, no worries. You don't, you don't gotta Google it. It's okay. The, what matters is it looks really good. And then there was this last one. <gasps> this one killed me. This one looks incredible. Oh, it was parsley. Oh, par that's probably so good. Um, those potatoes. I love fresh herbs on anything. And mango duck. That last one I did not make. So this is like a restaurant you went to or something? That looks so fucking good. That mango. I love mango. I love mango so much, and that mango sauce is killing me right now. And the glaze on that duck looks so good. I'm gonna die. This one really, really got me. My brother-in-law invited me for food. Wait, your brother-in-law made this? <gasps> People that aren't restaurant chefs can make a meal that looks this good? That's possible? The plating, everything looks so good. It looks so professional. Your brother-in-law is incredible. Oh, no, we went to a restaurant. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was so fucking impressed. I mean, I'm so impressed, but... Um, greatest of all time cheese. Yeah, goat cheese is your favorite cheese of all time. I, yeah, I usually, like, whenever there's a charcuterie board or something, um, I, I'm going back for the goat cheese over and over again when there's a bunch of different cheeses. I just keep going back for that goat cheese. A parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Is this a song that you're singing? He was hyping up the place for a while and didn't live up to the hype because it looks like it did. Like from a picture, it looks pretty damn good. Did it taste as good as it looks? It did. Oh, nice. I'm laughing at myself. I almost asked if your brother in law is married. <laughs> well, hey, wait, not necessarily. Brother in laws don't necessarily mean they're married because there's two ways you can have a brother in law. Either your brother-in-law is married to your sibling or your brother-in-law is siblings with your spouse so the brother-in-law could still be single you have a chance do you not know simon and garfunkel no it's your sister's husband you're out of luck mika <laughs> you're out of luck but you can still potentially go to this restaurant at some point they're from pre-2000s, so the odds are low for Jen to know them. I want to say shut up, but also he's right. He's right and he should say it. Alright, this next picture is from Mal and it also looks so good. Easter lunch. Oh my god. I love those little rolls. Me and my siblings used to call those butt bread because when they're all- they're the ones that come in the pan together, right? And they look like little butts when they're all crammed in together. They're so good. I love that bread. I don't know! <laughs> Uh, am I thinking of the right one? Is that the kind that comes in like the pull apart? It comes in like a circular pan and you pull them apart. Is that the kind of bread it is? I don't know. We just thought it looked like butts when they were in the pan together. So we called it butt bread. It is pull apart. Hey, I think it's butt bread. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm cooking. Yes, Ray. Good job, everybody. You got Ray to go make some food. 
Scarborough Fair Can't Tickle is one of the best songs ever made. Damn. One of the best songs. Not even one of their best songs. That's high praise. Parsley Sage, Romary and Time, one of the best albums. I'll have to listen to them at some point to see what this hype is about. Um, Poppy suggesting, right? And a mixed berry salad, right? I was also eyeing that. Oh, the fresh raspberries and blueberries and walnuts. God, it looks so good. And those deviled eggs. You know I'm a deviled egg girl. This looks like a great Easter dinner. And then we got this picture from Kiele. Drink locally a lot this month at Neighborhood Breweries. You two look so cute. And I hope you had so much fun drinking at um, Neighborhood Breweries. Did you have a favorite beer that you discovered? Or I guess, sorry, I'm talking to Kiele like they're here. I forgot. I don't think Kiele is here right now. Kiele, did you have a favorite beer? Oh, Poppy Seed Jess. Oh, take a pick. Yeah, you got to bring them in though. You don't have to take a pic of your food. You just get in there and eat it immediately. Oh, and this one looks so good too. This one's from Spiegel. I can't take credit for the seafood soup. You should just say credit to the artist because I hardly helped. But the oye muchum spicy cucumber salad was all me. I decided to do the cucumber and ribbons instead of traditional slices and it turned out really well. That looks so good. I feel like you kind of popped off when you decided to do them in ribbons because that shape just looks so appealing and I feel like it gave it so much surface area to cling onto the sauce and that was a big brain move. I like it. I like your your uh, development. That looks so good. Also, the soup looks so pretty, how it's arranged. If we keep calling out to her, maybe she will appear. Yes, Kiele, I call him Kiele, Kiele, Kiele. <laughs> And then we have another incredibly delicious looking one from Spiegel. Air fried tuna, fried egg on toast with peppers and some fruits and veg. This looks so good. Is this part of the, um, I know you're doing a Mediterranean diet. Is this Mediterranean diet uh, adherent? It looks really freaking good. So good. And then another delicious looking picture from Spiegel. High quality Reuben from Stanley and Nola. I gotta go try Stanley and Nola because that's where I live, but I haven't been there. Um, but I love Reubens. I I know I said I was a devil day girl, but first and foremost, before being a devil day girl, I'm a Reuben girl. I love Reubens. But my one criticism, see, I didn't taste it, so I can't say for sure. But my one possible criticism would be, I don't, I don't know if there's enough sauerkraut on that. It looks really good, but you could use a little more sauerkraut, probably, I think. I don't know. I'm a, I really like sauerkraut. But I'm weird because I feel like when most people get sandwiches, like, you want more value. You want more meat on the sandwich. You're like, don't, a lot of people are like, don't skimp on the meat. Or this place is really good because they don't skimp on the meat. But I'm kind of like, skimp on the meat because I like a higher ratio of, like, the condiments and, like, the veggies and stuff and a lower ratio of the meat. I don't fuck with Rubens because of the dressing. You don't like the dressing? I guess, I mean, some places use Thousand Island, but I feel like technically there's a different, like, special Reuben dressing. But Thousand Island is, like, the replacement if you don't have or make the special Reuben dressing. Uh, it looks like I'm right on time for the Kiele appreciation phase. Hi, smooth. It's always Kiele appreciation phase in here. It's right next to Jackson Square. I've never been there. Yeah, could you use some more? Still good though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's usually Russian dressing. Oh yeah, yeah, I think that's what it usually is. Russian dressing and then sometimes people replace it with Thousand Island. But I don't like either of them. Really? Okay, but maybe you don't like Russian dressing, but maybe you would like Russian dressing if it was combined with sauerkraut and corned beef and marbled rye and cheese. <laughs> then maybe you would like the Russian dressing. You never know until you try it. It's just so good. There was this place, like, I fell in love with Rubens when I tried one at a place called um, Dunderbox. Dunderbox. That was in Tampa when I lived in Tampa. And I still, to this day, have never found a place with a Ruben as good as the first Ruben I had at Dunderbox. It's just so freaking good. Melt in your mouth. The reason I tried it is because I saw Alton Brown, I think it was. Or no, no, no. It was either Alton Brown or The Sandwich King. It was someone on Food Network was on that show, Best Thing I Ever Ate. And they were describing a Reuben they had. And I had never had a Reuben. But the way they were describing it was so freaking appealing. I was just like, oh, I gotta try that. So then I got lucky and I tried it at 
the place where I've had the best Reuben to this day. Never heard of Reuben's before. Is it a US food? Maybe. I'm not sure. Anyone know where Reuben's originated? They're just a sandwich with corned beef. I thought they were more like maybe German just because they have sauerkraut and Dunderbox is a German restaurant that I tried it at, but they might not be. Uh, but they have corned beef, sauerkraut, uh, Russian dressing, and uh, rye. And my favorite kind of Reuben's are on marble rye, which is the rye that has the swirl of the brown and the white. And I found out that marble rye and regular rye are supposedly exactly the same and taste the same. It, the only difference is visual, but the visual difference makes it taste better to me. I like it when it's marble. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Uh, it's mostly made of mayo and ketchup and I do not like either of those things But sometimes if you don't like something you like it when it's combined with other things at least for me That's how it works, but I'm not pushing you either way Rubens are so good. Yeah, especially in the colder weather. Yeah Yeah, it looks so fucking good, right? Bingo. Sorry. I'm giving so much airtime to this Reuben. I just really love Rubens. <laughs> the Reuben is American. Wow. No way. It's a marble of Ryan Pumpernickel, isn't it? I thought I read somewhere that it's only visually different and it's just all rye. Let's see. Marble rye versus rye. Um, okay, so it's both rye. It's light rye and dark rye. And they um, are nearly the same density, so they bake together in uniform texture. Oh, wait, but maybe they are slightly different. Marbled rye. Now I'm like googling this because you got me curious. Well, you know what? Either way, I just love marble rye. I think it's better than regular rye. I don't know if it's my imagination, it's based on how it looks, or if it actually tastes different, but I prefer marble rye. <laughs> oh my god, you're right, Mal! How could we ignore those beautiful sweet potato fries? None of us are talking about how tasty looking those sweet potato fries are. You're so right. They deserve some uh, recognition. They look so good. I've been on the sweet potato kick lately. I'm going to make some tonight for my dinner date uh, with Justin. I'm cooking some portobello cap steaks marinated in balsamic. And I'm making um, some like sauteed shredded kale and red cabbage and carrot and then some roasted sweet potato and I got the roasted sweet potato recipe from my friend Fran after I had it at her house so good so I'm having something kind of similar but not not like uh fries the finished loaf is like a mix of plain rye and a New York style pumpernickel with milder and more intense flavors and balance with a stunning visual effect yes oh my god I feel vindicated it is different and it is better <laughs> I love marble rye. I fucking love sweet potato fries. Okay, I'm, I'm spending too long on this picture. I just love it. I just love it. It looks so good. Next picture. Another one from Spiegel. The chicken with sandwich was good, but the real star of this meal was the sweet potato. The sweet potato strikes again. Oh, sweet potato casserole. Getting basted in Branson, M.O. M.O. What state is M.O.? Not Missouri. Not Michigan. Not Maryland. Not Massachusetts. Montana it's probably Montana right no is it Missouri or is it Montana probably Missouri yeah Spiegel's more likely to be in Missouri than Montana that's closer <laughs> I was eyeing those sweet potatoes all night from across the club yeah <laughs> I love sweet potato fries too Ray but one thing I will say I think um I think regular fries are more bingeable, if that's a word, if that makes sense. Like, I can eat so many regular fries and keep wanting more and more and more. But when I'm eating sweet potato fries, I get to a point where I'm like, okay, that's enough. Like, okay, now it's getting to be too sweet after I've had 100. But with regular fries, I don't get to a point where I'm like, okay, that's enough. I just keep going until there's no more fries in existence. And that's when I stop. They, yeah, they did look so crispy and delicious. They were good, but not even close to the best sweet potatoes I had last month. Were these the best sweet potatoes you had last month? Oh, Montana is empty. Oh, they, uh, Spiegel is in misery. That's currently true. I will eat an entire bathtub of sweet potato fries. Yeah. Okay. I Yeah, I, I don't have the sweet potato endurance that you have, but I love sweet potato. Category five, nature pics. Are you ready to see the beautiful pictures of nature that everybody um, took from their respective climates and environments this month? 
I love this category. I love seeing all the very different places that you all are from and how pretty it is everywhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, also round of applause for all the great food picks. Woo! Beautiful food picks, everybody. I wanted to put lots in here, but then I didn't go outside at all. It's okay. It's very understandable. There are some months where I barely go outside at all as well. All right, here we go. First nature pick. This freaking stunning picture from Kenzo of a female eastern bluebird preparing her bird house. This is beautiful. Kenzo, this picture is absolutely stunning. Right? Oh my god. Right? Yeah, good Ian this month. I said, oh my god, out loud, right? Right? Yes. So freaking talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. I knew who took that before I looked at the name. Yeah. Kenzo is known for his uh, incredible nature photography. He's so talented. And it's. Uh, you all's lucky day because there's another Kenzo picture in this category on this one another freaking stunning picture a crow chilling along a river So beautiful. How do you get them to smile for the camera and look right at the camera? That's incredible <laughs> Look, it's like posing. I Know they're jaw dropping right Kenzo is so skilled for real Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna you. cry. Oh my I god love you. This is really so, so beautiful. I feel bad because I spent longer on the Reuben than on these gorgeous pictures. But listen, I just had a lot to say about the Reuben, okay? <laughs> Our Resident Evil pal. I don't know if I would call it a pal in Resident Evil. Okay, and oh my god. Speaking of stunning pictures, Ray. This picture is absolutely gorgeous. This is so beautiful. Ray said, I had to document the first bud of spring that Evan and I noticed on our walk. This is such a freaking pretty picture. It's so striking and it's um, so beautiful, especially with the context that it's the first bud of spring. Spring is here, baby. And this is another picture from Ray of a really cute bird. I snagged a little photo of a gorgeous bird just posing. So freaking cute. I know, I love the colors in that one too. All crows are goaded and that is a top tier crow pick. Yes! <laughs> are crows your favorite bird, Kim? <laughs> this bird is so cute. This, is a, this isn't a bird. This is a burb with a bee at the end. <laughs> it's different. Uh, it was so pretty to find in the middle of all the gray and brown. Yeah, it looks so nice. Robins in spring make me so happy. Oh, is that what kind of bird this is? Is this a robin? You know your birds. It's a very cute robin. And then this is a picture from Anton. Anton changed his name again. I hope you're still awake. Anton, are you still there? Are you still with us? I know Anton was falling asleep. Um, don't know if this is the right category, but I had leftover mint and sage from cooking. So I put in a glass of water and it made roots. So I planted it in pots. I didn't know you could do that. And that's so cool. That was such a good idea. True, you're right. Just a little round bird pal. Yeah, see, you know what I'm saying. I am a very amateur birder. Well, you know what? You still impressed me. I didn't know that it was a robin. American robin to be specific. Are you also a birder? Kim? European robins look rounder, really. That one looked really round as it was. Hi, top hat. I got a lovely gifty the other day. Welcome in. I'm glad that you are using the emotes. I hope you like them. This seems like a wonderful idea. Oh, thank you. Yeah, everybody's showing off their pictures from this month. The category that we're going through right now is nature pics. Corvids are my fave in general. Raven's number one, yeah. Hi, Ivinia. Hello, welcome. I live in a bird place. Uh, people come here bird watching, but I'm a bird noob. Maybe you should go get into bird watching. I feel like it would be fun. All right, let's. I, I... Oh, Anton, you're awake. Anton, I was. I thought maybe you fell asleep. You made it to see your beautiful picture of your herbs. I love. I love these. They are getting bigger. Are you gonna harvest them? Or are you gonna murder them all and eat them? <laughs> That's where your grunions came from. Leftovers from the store in a pot of dirt. I am so sad to say. I wish I could say that the grunions are still with me. The grunions that you gave me, that you so sweetly gifted to me in a pot, are no longer with us. Can we get a moment of silence for the grunions that Spiegel gifted me? But they lasted a while. 
they lasted like at least a month but what the problem was I was eating them at a faster rate than they were growing. Thank you, Mr. Evil Falcon. I was eating them at a faster rate than they were growing. So I like got down to the roots and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a monster. Gosh, I am so pants at keeping a plant alive. Is that a thing? I am so pants. Does that mean I'm so bad? But yeah, I am too. I'm also so pants at keeping a plant alive. Every plant I've tried to keep alive or grow has died. Yeah, that's a problem. That's why we have them planted in three places now. Smart so you can like rotate. The birding is so underrated. Really fun activity. I can definitely see that. Bird watching is fun. I've never gone bird watching, but um, it just sounds so appealing. It sounds like such a good time. It's kind of like satisfies that urge in all of us to collect and label things. Like I feel like the same urge that makes us want to play Pokemon would be really satisfied by bird watching. Gotta catch them all. Gotta gotta spot them all. Sorry, extremely British mode in case. <laughs> I'm also careful with my language just in case. Oh my god, no, it's okay. Uh, you don't have to be careful. If I don't understand the slang, I'll, I want to be taught it. <laughs> Me too, and so is my sister. That's why we only have cactuses. Are cactuses easy to grow? I mean, I would assume they are, because in the wild, they can withstand really harsh conditions. So it'd be hard to subject a cactus to harsher conditions in your house than it withstands in the desert. <laughs> I feel like I would still kill a cactus because I'd overwater it because that's what I do. That's how I've killed a lot of plants is by overwatering them. It's not fair. It's not fair that that can kill a plant. I was just showing my love and trying to do a good job. <laughs> you got that reference? Which reference? Um, it's all about knowing what the plants need. Yeah. I just water them whenever I think OMG it's been months since I watered them. <laughs> yeah, that might work for cactuses. I don't know if that'll work for any other plants. <laughs> you gotta just not overwater a cactus. Yeah, it can kill a person too. True, true. I read th the only reason I know that you can die from like water poisoning and drinking too much water is because I read this article or I, I didn't read the article. I read a tweet about the article. Listen, sometimes I read the full article, but this time I didn't. But um, I saw something that said that some actor was like lying about how much water he drank for a role. And he was like, he gave this insane number for how much water he drank to get ready for the role. And then people were like, if you drank this much water, you would die. And that's the only reason I found out that you can die from drinking too much water. Um. I got an education as a horticulturalist and florist. Plants still die under my watch. That's why I became a mathematician. I've yet to kill a number. I'll be really impressed if you do. That's really cool though. I didn't know you had a background in hort horticulturalism. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but. Oh, this is another beautiful nature pic from Mika of an incredibly vibrant sunset. It's really blurry and like most sunset photos, it doesn't do it justice, but I had to take some pics of the sunset I saw while in the car. I I always get so frustrated by that too. Whenever I see a really beautiful sunset and try to take a picture of it, it never captures it. It never does it justice, but I can imagine. I can imagine that this was incredibly gorgeous. Those are such vibrant colors. I want to eat that sunset. <laughs> Just meant because I'm from England, I knew what pants meant. Oh, nice, nice. I, at least, hey, I figured it out from context clues. Do I get a point for that? To answer your question, yes, I love burbs. It's probably my number one special interest besides video games, of course, nice. We for a wee, what? <laughs> We were on the Ruben pick too long. I know. <laughs> All right. Um, another picture from Spiegel. Just an afternoon in the park. I love this. It looks like kind of an overcast gray day. I love gray days. Did it rain after this? Because I feel like an old sailor saying this, but it looks like our storm is a brewing. But sometimes that's the best weather is the weather right before a storm. It's nice and cool and breezy and gray out. I want to share the prettiest sunrise I've ever experienced, but it's from years ago. You can share it anyway. You can just share it in the photo gallery in the Discord or right here, right now, if you have a link. I used to breed new types of flowers, which was the best job I ever had. Later, I worked in breeding hybrid corn, which was the most evil job I ever had. Why was it evil? Why is that evil? But they paid all right. I love the clouds. Mostly when I take pictures of nature, it's because of the look of the clouds. Yeah, the clouds look so fluffy. They look so pregante with rain. 
And then we have another beautiful cloud picture from Spiegel. The sky looked nice on the drive home from bringing Ollie to school. That's gorgeous. This is like every artistic rendition you see of heaven. Looks The sky looks like this. It's so pretty. Like this one, yeah. Excellent example of what you were just saying. And then this is also from Spiegel. If you see a squirrel at an amusement park, you have to get a picture or three of it. <laughs> it took me a second to find the squirrel. Uh, but that was a very cute little squirrel in there. Copyrighted subscription service corn? Was it? I don't know the things those companies do to farmers and stuff. Oh, I believe it. I get what you're saying. Um, I'll make a little extended cut of my showcase. A director's edition? Yeah. That sounds great. Um, and then another cute picture from Spiegel. Also face reveal for Toby. I listened to the podcast and I never knew what Toby looked like. And now I have a face to put to the voice. Um, Aaron, Claire, and Toby, the podcast homies on our hiking adventure. I just listened to, I think is the latest episode. The one where Aaron's explaining the Kate Middleton controversy. Was that the latest episode? Because I just listened to that yesterday. Great episode. Um, if you haven't listened to their podcast, by the way, Spiegel and his wife and their friend Toby have a podcast called The Amita, Amita Chats because they call themselves The Immediates, like immediate family, um, because they're all such close friends. And it's great. I love listening to it. I just like listening to them talk. They're all just great people. They get along so well, and it's nice just listening to them. And they play fun games like 20 Questions. And, oh, the game that they played in the last one was... Um, a to Z improv, where they have to improv kind of telling a story, taking turns saying sentences, and each sentence has to start with the next letter of the alphabet, and that was great. Funny story, when my cousin was little and couldn't say squirrel, he called them squillows! Stop! That's so cute! Squillows! Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh, and DuPont. Oh, I watched the movie about DuPont. Uh, Dark Water, I think it was called, with Mark Ruffalo in it. The Hulk. The Hulk uh, was taken down DuPont. The company in whose research department I worked. Oh, it's definitely not that great company. No, it is not. They knowingly hid research they conducted showing that their products were causing cancer and birth defects in um, the population surrounding where their plants were and where the runoff from their like their sewage runoff was going and they literally like funded studies to see the effects on people from their uh, their production once they saw that it was bad they just were like oh well let's lock this up and not do anything about it that's what the whole movie was about I got spat in the face for working for them once, damn. You think it was someone who had been affected by them? I'm sorry that you got spat in the face, but... Yes, that sucks. I'm glad you don't work there anymore. Um... Oh yeah, it was. Then we got the real truth like two days later. Yeah. Was that awkward though? Because Spiegel, the, you all had just uh, recorded a podcast, like a fun, lighthearted podcast speculating about where Kate Middleton was. And then she, two days later, she's like, I have cancer. Where you're like, oh, that's a, uh, hmm, this is not, not good timing for us here. <laughs> There's companies that develop plants so that they're incapable of reproducing, but produce more fruit. That way farmers need to pay the company each year to get new seeds. Wow. And they can't just breed their own, hence copyright subscription service plants. I didn't know that. I'm not sure if it happens to corn too. Damn. That sounds like a capitalist nightmare. Not a nightmare for capitalists. A nightmare created by capitalists is what I meant. Uh, that's how Harvest Moon taught me to think all farming was. Oh my god. <laughs> the same day they released the episode, she was released from the hospital, I believe. Oh wow. That, that was Aaron's reaction, but Toby and I were like, how could we know? We weren't mean about it. Yeah, you all weren't mean about it. I don't think, or that would have been bad. No, I, I don't think you all were like distasteful about it. You were just kind of like talking about what the controversy was, what people were speculating, but you all, I don't think you all were mean about it or anything. To Anchor, hi, welcome. Welcome to the showcase. This is a very cute picture, by the way. <laughs> And there's another hiking picture, hiking with the boys. This is the day after Simon was in the emergency room all night with a stomach bug and he was still jumping rock to rock across the stream. What a resilient little kid. That's so sweet. It seems like a fun hike. I love hiking. I haven't gone hiking in a while. 
Oh, this is so pretty. My favorite little waterfall and pool from our hiking adventure. I want to jump in there. That looks so freaking appealing. I love swimming in lakes and rivers like this. It's probably slimy on the bottom and it'll probably freak me out when my feet touch the bottom, but then I'll simply just swim and never let my feet touch the bottom and I'll be fine. <laughs> Kenzo, you missed it. Everybody was complimenting your beautiful bird photography. Everybody was going goo goo gaga over it. Actually, I think the saying is everyone was going gaga over it. I don't think goo goo's part of that saying. <laughs> If I wasn't wounded, I would have definitely hopped in there. That damn baby ramp! Kenzo, I love your crow. Yes! Oh, it was such a good picture. Both of them were such good pictures. And then another, even taller waterfall. The objectively more impressive waterfall along our hiking trail. Okay. Even if it's objectively more impressive... Oh my god, wait! Look at Claire! Look at Claire! Look at baby Claire! She looks so cute. <laughs> oh my god, I love this picture. I didn't even notice her looking so cute over there at first. Um, but this is still my favorite waterfall, the baby waterfall. It's so pretty. It's so adorable. Um, some of it is. Not all plants, you can just seed new plants with last year's crops. So often farmers do have to buy their seeds yearly or have to buy new fresh grass for hybrid trees and stuff it can get complicated uh, how do you know all this about farming were you a farmer or you knew somebody who was that is in general what hybrid Aww. stuff does not necessarily not producing seeds but that hybrid gives lots of harvest but the offspring of the hybrid will not that is the way hybrids work but definitely a positive for the companies i see so it's not like by design it's not designed in a nefarious way where they're like we're gonna make these plants so that they don't produce a lot of offspring so that they have to continually buy seeds from us it was just kind of like a nice happenstance like we made these hybrid plants that have benefits against pests and other things and they just happen to not make a lot of offspring so you'll have to keep buying seeds from us <laughs> you're just interested in stuff that's a great quality to have in there I have a pic after she fell asleep. She looks like a real chest burster in that <laughs> Oh, this picture. I feel bad because I kind of ruined the quality of this picture because for some reason it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't save. So I had to screenshot it. But hopefully you can still tell this picture is so gorgeous that Ray took. Evan, hi! They're definitely made to be that way too. Oh, I see. So it is nefarious. Ultra fail! Everybody was complimenting your Spyro, your dragon, your little purple dragon. Was it supposed to be Spyro? Because everyone was like, that's such a cute Spyro. And I didn't, I was like, is it supposed to be Spyro? Or is it just a coincidentally cute little purple dragon? I must know. You need to know about horticulture to know about Elden Ring lore. Is that what got you into it? Yeah, you gotta catch a full Spiegel podcast. You should. Can we link, um, here, it, this is what it's called. I'm just gonna type it out so you can see how it's spelled. Search. It's on, I know it's on Spotify because that's where I listen to it. I don't know where else it's on, but. Amida chats on Spotify. There. I typed it in the chat so you can see how it's spelled. Great podcast. Love it. Monsanto and the other food monopolies are evil. Uh, I've never heard the name Monsanto, but I believe it. Uh, it's, it's sometimes it's scary. Like some of the biggest conglomerates, you don't actually hear the name because it's not like a front facing brand name. The British royal family are an easy target for jokes with Irish people too, unfortunately. Yeah, I bet. You love this kind of flower. It's so beautiful and it's so pretty. I just, I also just love the composition of this picture. And then we have another beautiful picture by Ray. Did you know? Okay, actually, I was about to say something that I don't know if it's true. Hold on, let me count. It's too hard to count the rings because they're like overlapping and I can't tell some of them are part of two rings. Never mind. I'm not going to say what I was going to say because I think it's false. But this is a beautiful picture. <laughs> I'm glad people like it. How could we not like it? It's so cute and so beautiful. It wasn't supposed to be Spyro, but I think I might have subconsciously been inspired. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful either way. It was so, so cute. Everyone really loved it. You breed incest lines, which are barely able to survive, but when you cross two incest lines, to be clear, Aoife's talking about plants right now. I just want to specify that. We're talking about produce, plants. 
So you breed incest lions, which are barely able to survive, but when you cross two incest lions with each other, you get a super healthy hybrid plant, but its offspring goes back towards that incestuous roots generation after generation. I worked in incest lion maintenance. You should really, really put the word plants in there more when you talk about working in incest lion maintenance. <laughs> but that's really interesting. I don't know if I ever realized that pine cones spiral out like that. Yeah, it's really cool to look at. I'll tell you what I was gonna say, which actually I don't think is true. I was gonna say, I believe the number of like little leaf shaped things jutting out in each ring follow the Fibonacci sequence, but I think that actually might just be artichokes and not pine cones, but a lot of things in nature do. But I, I don't see that here. <laughs> Inspirational. <laughs> oh, another beautiful picture from Ray. Are these like metal roses? I I can't exactly tell what I'm looking at. Are these real? These are these aren't real, are they? These are like metal, right? Or are those real flowers? They look so interesting and shiny. They're really pretty. They spiral out like that for mathematical reason. That's tire. What do you mean by that's tire? They're really tiny. My flowers are 100% real. They're gorgeous. Oh my God. I love how shiny they are. The reason I thought they were fake is because they're so shiny. That's so cool. That's beautiful. And that's all of our pictures for the nature category. Oh, they're like a succulent. Oh, that makes sense. Can we get a round of applause for all the beautiful nature pics everyone took this week? They're beautiful. Simulation reasons. Oh. <laughs> oh, I meant that's true. And also I'm typing on my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, maybe this is more like British slang. I don't know if you're British or not, Mr. Evil Falcon. But I was like, maybe it's more British slang that I don't know. <laughs> that's tired. Very good. <laughs> Very good. I believe the Fibonacci sequence ends up allowing each part the most amount of sunlight. Really? Oh, that's so interesting. It's so interesting, like how many in how many ways in nature um, the Fibonacci sequence pops up. I saw a video of a bird flying in a perfect golden ratio yesterday, and I was mesmerized. How could you tell? You could tell with your eyes that it was flying in a perfect golden ratio. I think they just have white edges, white on the edges, not shiny. Oh wait, let me look at that again. Oh, maybe, or maybe they are, or maybe they're like a little bit wet. Like, did it just rain? Oh, the video was about the fact it did. Oh, I thought you just went outside. <laughs> I thought you were saying you just went outside and you saw a bird and you're like, I deduce that that is the perfect golden ratio that it is flying in. I was like, damn, okay, all right. <laughs> all right, are we ready for category six? Something fun that you did this month. I'm excited for this category, I love this one. I love seeing all the fun things you all get up to. I think they were damp and were directly facing the sun. Yeah, and, and they must have been like, like succulent type material, like that rubbery kind of plant, maybe. I'm the math kind of autistic, but only when looking at birds fly, yeah. <laughs> That's your superpower. All right, here we go. Something fun. This one was from Mal, water park slash loveless show. I was so excited for you when you said, I remember the day that you said in chat that you were going to the show. You're like, should I go? And I was like, yes, yes, you should go. And I'm so glad you went and I'm so glad you had fun. Um, this must be water parks because it doesn't look like loveless. I know loveless, but I don't know water parks. But this, this setup looks so interesting. Was the crowd on the same level as the performers? Is that how they had it set up? I love concerts like that, where the crowd's at the same level as the uh, performers. The water park singer played right behind us at this bar. That's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, the golden ratio is in a certain sense the most irrational number, a bit hard to explain, but essentially, therefore, it gives the most sunlight uh, to leaves ordered that way. I see. I guess, yeah, the golden ratio is connected to the Fibonacci sequence because as the F Fibonacci sequence progresses, um, the ratio between the most recent number and the previous number approaches closer and closer to the golden ratio. Is that the connection there? Exactly. Hey! I am like that when birds are flying. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it, Kenzo. I believe that you look at a bird and you're like, that is the golden ratio. Exactly. 
it was cool just seeing them for a song or two. You only got to see a song or two? Instead, all I can do is tell you way too much about Elder Scrolls lore. But hey, that Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls. <laughs> they're the same thing, I believe. Um, well, they're not the same thing, but they're very closely related. Okay. Next, another concert from Kiele. I did a lot of fun things and one of them was a concert. Ricky Montgomery. I don't know Ricky Montgomery, but this looks like such a fun time. Also, can we talk about Jacob's really cute eyeshadow? Is Jacob wearing green eyeshadow? Cause it looks so freaking good. You two both look so cute. I don't know if Kiele is here. I don't think Kiele is here, but Kiele, if you ever watch this, I love you and you're so cute. And I'm so glad you had fun. One is a sequence, the other is a ratio, but Jen said it correctly. Yay! Seeing them in this position for a song or two, they played on stage. Oh, oh, so there was a stage. The whole concert wasn't like that. I see. That looks so fun. Yeah, that looks so, so fun. I bet they had a great time. And then this one's from Mika. After one of my consultations with my surgeon, me and my mom visited a butterfly house and botanical gardens nearby. It was so pretty and there were tons of butterflies. There were also a bunch of beautiful orchids, which are really great to see. That sounds so nice. I'm so glad you got to have like a fun time and do something really nice like that after your consultation with your surgeon because I'm sure that was stressful. So it's nice that you got to go do this afterwards. I hope you and your mom had a great time, Mika. I, th these pictures are so Very beautiful. good. Very good. Ah, uh, orchids. Yes, orchids are so pretty. Also, I love this little, um, I, I don't even know what to call it. This setup over here of all these beautiful plants together in this frame looking so gorgeous. Yeah, the orchids are stunning. Thank you. We had a really good time. Oh, yeah. I love that for you. That makes me so happy. And this one has three different people that I recognize from Gutville in it. Kodiak, Casey, and Andrew taking a break at Comic-Con. I hope you all had so much fun at Comic-Con. I know you had so much fun at Comic-Con, but I'm so glad you all got to go and hang out with each other and have a great time. I love you! Yes! I love, you. <laughs> I love all these people. These are three beautiful, wonderful, amazing people. And it's such a cute picture. It makes me happy looking at it. Love this pic, same. And Cody, Kodiak was the one that submitted this. And I think Andrew was the one that took it. So credit to the artist. And then where we got some pictures of the aquarium from Spiegel. Audubon Aquarium number one. That's the aquarium near me, right? That's the New Orleans Aquarium. I've been to this aquarium, I think. Wait, is that the one near me? Spiegel, confirm. Is that the one in New Orleans? But this one is some cute little baby gators. I've seen a lot of baby gators because they have so many places in Florida that are like, pet the baby gators, take pictures with the baby gators. Like if you try to play mini golf in Florida, you will be confronted with baby gators and asked to hold them for money. Um, and this was a beautiful owl. Audubon Aquarium number two, our new friend, the pretty rehabilitated owl. This is such a cute picture. Look at that pose. That owl got right up to you. I feel like whenever I've gone to the aquarium and seen the owl, the owl's been very like, you know, up in the corner, like leave me alone, weird people, which I understand. So I'm surprised that it came down and got all, all close and personal. That is your new friend. I think it likes you. That's a Nola one, yeah. It looks familiar, I thought so. Yeah, what a bore. I would invite y'all, but we went on Saturday, so you were streaming. My streaming schedule always getting in the way. It's okay though, I hope you had fun. Another cute picture. Yeah, I remember this because I stood on it too. <laughs> Audubon Aquarium 3, recreating a pic we have of Ollie on the porthole, but with all three. Oh, even baby Claire got in there. Claire is so brave. She wasn't afraid at all to go on the glass. What a brave little baby. That's so cute. And then another Audubon Aquarium picture. Um, our kids with our friends' kids we met up with from Florida. Floridians! <laughs> you uh, fraternize with a lot of Floridians, including myself. What do, you, what do you think of us? What do you think of us Floridians? Are we normal? She fears nothing. I love that for her. They look slightly frightened, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no, honestly, I think, um, like, uh, um, 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 Simon and Claire look, like, totally happy. Happy to be there, brave. 
I'm not afraid of anything, but Oliver and the two friends' kids look a little bit unsettled by being in the giant jaw. <laughs> oh, oh my god. If you needed something heartwarming today, here you go. This is baby Claire, Spiegel's daughter. Audubon Aquarium number five. I believe this was looking in at the owl friends. She's just so cute. No wonder the owl came down and came up to you all. How could the owl not with this cute little face looking in? If I was the owl, I would have come down too. I'd be like, you know, normally I'm standoffish, but that's a really cute baby. <laughs> I love the combination of different reactions. Yeah, same. Another picture of Claire trying to make friends. You said trying. Did she fail? <laughs> I hope she succeeded in making friends. Oh my god. Why are Aww. kids so fucking cute? Look at their little shoes. Both of them. Look at their little shoes. <laughs> That's so freaking cute. Uh, Claire's growing up and making friends. This is beautiful. They're originally from Georgia. We met them when they lived here and now they wow, live near I'm Miami, so, so he doesn't have to travel so much for work. Oh, I see. Amazing. I know. I'm so proud of her being a social butterfly. And this was the roller the roller coaster that got foreshadowed earlier. This roller coaster had a drop right at the beginning. They don't hold the punches. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a roller coaster like that that just starts out with the drop, because normally you get time to prepare yourself. They take you up, 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 and the anticipation builds. But maybe this is actually better for people who get nervous on roller coasters because you can get the drop out of the way immediately. You don't have to build that stressful anticipation. It doesn't matter to me because I love roller coasters and I love the drop, but I know some people get real stressed on the up, 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 up part. It's near 90 degrees. <laughs> it was wild. How far is the drop? It Was it a big one? They're weird and live in Florida now, so it fits. <laughs> the boys and our niece on the way of our, um, on the way are out of the amusement park, Silver Dollar City. Cute. The cute, cute, cute. Love the giant chair. Actually, that's a normal sized chair. That's the crazy part. And the car is fun around while you're riding. Wait, really? Oh my god, I gotta go on this. That sounds amazing. Um, the car is spun around while you're riding, so sometimes you might just go right out the door backwards to your demise. <laughs> that sounds incredible. I want to ride that. It was that also here at Silver Dollar City. Was I in one of the mini climbing apparatus at Fritz's Adventure? <laughs> Let him out. Let him out of baby jail. And that was all of the pictures for the something fun category. Can we get a round of applause for all the fun and amazing things you all did this month? Thank you for sharing them. I love seeing you. All right, this is the final category. Are you ready for the last category of the showcase? The miscellaneous category. Anything goes. <laughs> Who knows what awaits us? The first one we got is from me. <laughs> Spider-Man has a great photo mode. Thank you for the feet and booty, soles and butt cheek. You are too kind to us. <laughs> I didn't know you could wear just your just Spider-Man underwear in this game. That's amazing. All the roller coasters were at Silver Dollar City. Fritz's adventure is where I hurt myself, and Aaron is already planning our next trip to one. To to the place with the evil baby ramp that tried to kill you? The betrayal. I had nothing going on this month, y'all. No, I love it. I was actually thinking about adding a category to the community showcase of uh, video game screenshots. Because let's be real. A lot of the cool and fun things we do each month are in video games. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is so unexpected. I laugh so much. <laughs> After all the cute pictures of Spiegel's kids and it's just Spider-Man's ass. Oh, this is a cute picture. This one's from Kiele. Another pick of Jacob and I at the bar because I'm in my party girl era. I love that for you. I love that for you, Kiele. And I hope you continue to have fun in your party girl era. I love um, Jacob's hat, by the way. It's so cute. Please, I want some gorgeous video game pickies, right? I'm going to add that next month. For April, I'm going to add a video game screenshots category. I would own that category. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm doing it. It's done. It is foretold. And this one's from Mika. Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> I'm taking this as a chance to brag about my little brother and be a proud big sister for a moment. 
Last year after graduating, he became a head chemist at a green cleaning products company. And this month, his first product that he made 100% on his own hit shelves at a major superstore. He even came up with the scents. He has another big project about to hit shelves, but I don't want to brag too early and get him in trouble. That's incredible. That's amazing. And you should brag about him because that's, that's so impressive. He graduated and went straight to being a head chemist and he made this product entirely by himself and it's on the shelves. So yeah, that's so fucking cool. Cool. I'm gonna look out for this and is it I don't know if it's um where it's being sold but if I see it at the store I'm definitely gonna buy it I want to support him I love him so much and he's worked so hard that's amazing you're such a sweet sister for bragging about him <coughs> I gotta learn how to take screenshots on purpose yeah <laughs> there's literally a button for that well it depends what you're on or if you're playing on steam or console but yeah, there's usually a button for that on no matter what you're on. You just gotta learn what the button is, then you're good to go. Yeah, that is dope as fuck. That's awesome. And this is kind of a video game screenshot, sort of, <laughs> in a way. The aquarium had to design your own fish activity, so I invaded their space. <laughs> Look at this abomination. Why would you do this to them? Why would you send this abomination into their beautiful fish tank? <laughs> uh, this is the declaration of war. I keep making them accidentally. There's always a button for screenshots, at least on modern devices. Yeah, you just gotta figure out what the button is so you don't keep making them on accident. You can actually make them on purpose. I hate Manoray. <laughs> Look at his fucking eyes. Look at its eyeballs. <laughs> Uh, I love interactive exhibits. Yeah, me too. They're awesome. A bunny, uh, my death towner tick up button is the same as take screenshot in Steam. Same! Is it? Yeah, because we both use F12, right? So if I forget to start the counter, all my Steam screenshots are immediately after death and on game over screens. I disabled that. Like, I disabled the screenshot button on Steam because I had the same problem. Do you have any pictures of the real fish they constructed based on the Spiegel? Yeah. Oh, next time? Okay, good. Because I'm sure they would genetically, uh, create a genetically modified stingray with a striped pattern and scary eyeballs with tiny pupils to match this. Otherwise, what would be the point of the activity, right? A couple weeks? Come on. They can't do it faster than that? They gotta grow it? Well, they need to improve their methods. I want to see my special customized fish day of. Some solid adulting Spiegel. Big fan of them. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I hope you were ready to have so the cutest pictures in the world beamed into your eyeballs today. When you have too many toys and not enough hands, <laughs> she looks so happy. Claire always looks so happy. She's such a smiley baby. And when I met Claire in person, I got to meet Claire in person when um, they came to Nola and we had brunch with them and walked around. And she was. It wasn't just that they take pictures of her when she's smiling. Like, she's literally just always smiling. The whole time we were hanging out, she was smiling the entire time. She was the most happy baby I've ever seen. She was very pleased with herself. Yeah. <laughs> they need to start replicating them, like, in Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> And that's it. That's the whole community showcase for March. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. And thank you, everybody, who submitted one last round of applause. Last one. Thank you, everybody, for being brave and putting yourself out there and submitting beautiful, fun pictures from your month. I love seeing them. And I hope you all love seeing them as much as I do. It's so fun to go through these. Thank you all. I love you all so much. And I hope you had a great March. And let's, here's to having a good April, too. Let's make some good memories and... And have a good April showcase. What a lovely concept and a wholesome freaking time. Oh, thank you. What's up? Yes, <laughs> bang those pots and pans together. Great work, everyone. <laughs> yes. You all are so amazing. <laughs> and now it's time for something a little bit different. Hold on. Let me get get it uh, going here. Oh, also, you're probably wondering who won the channel points for the prediction so the question was what percentage of the showcase was submitted by spiegel now that you've seen the showcase what would you guess because i calculated it. i know the real answer but what do you think 
of all the pictures submitted, what percent do you think was submitted by Spiegel? Now that you've seen it, I'm just curious if anyone wants to make a guess before I reveal it. Most of you all, actually everyone guessed either 26 to 50% or 51 to 75%. I'm just wondering if you would change your mind after seeing it. 62%, 43, 69, 69. <laughs> Are you ready to know the real answer? Wait, one pick was yours that I said was Spiegel's? Oh my god, Mika, which one? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Wait, did I mislabel? I believe it. I was Russian. I spelled Ray's name wrong on one of them. 41? 420? Oh my <laughs> Which one though? It was no big deal. I want to know. Tell me. I'm so sorry. The food. Oh, wait, let's see. We got to go back. I, I need to know which one was yours. We're doing a speed run of the community showcase. Pet picks. Food picks. Okay, let's see. Oh, was this one yours? Wait, er. Uh, the soup and cucumbers. Oh my god, I said. Wait, nobody. Did anyone correct me? Well, you got. Spiegel didn't say anything either? Or I shouldn't notice. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my god. This is such a beautiful cucumber salad, and I gave all the credit to Spiegel. The soup is defo, not mine. I was complimenting Spiegel so much. I was like, wow, that's such a good idea to slice it that way. I see the vision. I love it. Okay. All credit to the artist. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Credit to Vika for this. I did, but you didn't notice. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm glad I saw it in the end though, because I would want to correct that for sure. This was by Mika. Your cucumber salad looks amazing. Okay. Now, the announcement you've all been waiting for. You know why 69 is so nice? Why? Mika is the artist. I am nothing but a devourer. <laughs> Uh, I was talking to AC repairman at this time, uh, uh, like Lee's story. I'm just kidding. She was an hour late to work on this and such an error. I just don't know what to think anymore. I'm sorry. Listen, we're not talking about that anymore. We're moving on. We're moving on. Anyways, the number, the percentage of the showcase. Actually, that might change things. Hold on. Because it was really, really close. Actually, no, it doesn't change things. It doesn't. Because I calculated it using... I... I, I, Spiegel gave me the count of the number of pictures he submitted and Spiegel wouldn't have counted this. And I just counted the total pictures. So the total pictures is still right. Okay, all good, all good. Are you ready to know the real number of the percentage of the showcase that was from Spiegel? You've all made your guesses. We got some guesses of 62%, 43, 69, 69, 41, 420. But the real answer is 49%. Percent. So close to the edge of the guess range. The edge of the guess range was 50%, but it was 49%. So if you guessed two, congratulations. So close. Wow. You gotta up those numbers, Beagle. You gotta get above 50. Come on. I hate it here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You can check my math. You can go back through if you want, but it was 49%. Hell yeah, let's go, Ray. Kiele, you're here. Hi. Oh my gosh. Oh, I missed it. I just got off work. Hi. We were talking about you the whole time. We we're talking about how cute you are and how great your pictures were and how cute Jacob looked too. I love the picture where Jacob was wearing green eyeshadow. It looks so cute on him. And I saw that you're wearing. Wait, can you confirm? In one of the pictures, it looked like you were wearing um, the crochet shrug that Jacob picked out for you when you did the date where you went to the thrift store and you picked each, other out, each, other, each other's outfits out. I thought I saw the same crochet shrug again. It's so cute. Oh, sunrise pics in the Discord. <gasps> Let's see pics of the most beautiful sunrise Kim ever saw. It was! I knew it! Yes! The eyeshadow. But I love that you're in your party girl era. It looked like you had a great, really fun month. And it was nice that you were like going to all these local breweries and supporting local shops. <gasps> okay, wait, hold on. You all want to see some cute picture additions to the showcase real quick from the Discord? These are some beautiful sunsets that, um, hold on, that Kim saw. 
That's not right. Hold on. Oh, oh, it's showing up. It's right there. Haha. -ha. Hey, it's working. That's gorgeous. Streaming is hard, okay? <laughs> yes, thank you. I really, what I really need to do, I need to buy a stream deck again. I used to have a stream deck, and then when I thought I was like not gonna be streaming anymore, I stopped streaming for a year. I sold my stream deck. And I kind of regret it. I'm like, it was nice. It was so much easier to like switch scenes and make sources pop up and it was great. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get one again. But wait, wait, that's not the only picture. Hold on. Look at this panoramic, Kim. This is incredible. This is so gorgeous. And wait, there's another one. It's also incredibly gorgeous. This is beautiful. I love the mist the morning dew and fog coming off the ground. It just looks so idyllic. It looks so beautiful. I haven't streamed in well over a year and I still use my stream deck all the time. It's how I mute Discord. Yeah, stream decks are so useful because you can do a lot with hotkeys, but you can do more. You can do more with the stream deck more easily. Bob Ross inspiring, right? Inspiring art artists everywhere. This, this really does look like it could be a painting. Painters would love to paint this. It's beautiful. It was intense waking up to that. That's gorgeous. Do you wake up to sunsets like that a lot? All right, I'm gonna change my um, title and stuff on Twitch to say that I'm starting Alone in the Dark, the remake, which I'm so excited for. I've been really excited for this ever since it was announced because I'm all about the renaissance of survival horror classic remakes because the, most of them have been so good like the all the resident evil remakes have been incredible some of my favorite games of all time the dead space remake incredible so good because i tried to play dead space again recently and i have a, like really fond memories that i love that game and it's one of my favorite games of all time but when i tried to play it again in recent years it hadn't really held up the same like the gameplay felt clunky and not a great way and it just wasn't as good as I remembered it being, just didn't age that well. So the remake was just perfect. Like it, it kept the essence of everything great about Dead Space, but modernized it and made the gameplay more fun. And it was just beautiful too. But, but anyways, this isn't about the Dead Space remake. What I'm trying to say is I just love all these survival horror remakes that have been coming out and I've yet to play a bad one. And I'm very excited to play the Alone in the Dark remake because I really enjoyed Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, which was one of the older ones. Um, also the Silent Hill remake, Silent Hill 2 remake is coming out this year, potentially. So, the, the prize for first bad classic survival horror remake is still on the table. It could go to Silent Hill 2, it could go to Alone in the Dark, who knows? It's still up for grabs because no one's made a bad one yet, in my opinion. Okay. I'll catch you some day, Kira. <gasps> <laughs> I hope you get Kira. <laughs> I don't know, Kira is hard to catch. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's Kira. I'm so sorry, Pete. But it's a lovely carp. A beautiful, wonderful carp you got there. Just as good as Kira. Alright. Oh, guess what I get to do? Since we're starting a new game, I get to do something very exciting very big. I get to set my death count that's at 2,810 to zero. Zero, baby. Ah, fresh slate. Tabula rasa. Let's go. Oh, I'm excited to have a fresh death count to keep at zero and never let it go any higher than zero, right? Maybe it'll inspire me to play them someday. Yeah. 
Um, I realized Dead Space is on Game Pass. So I'm definitely playing that after I finish RE4. Wait, the remake's on Game Pass? Yes! Oh, it's so good. Do it. It's, I was really amazed with it. And one of the things that I really appreciated about it too is they actually kind of... Um, they Well, I don't know. I, I guess it's controversial, but they changed Isaac from like a silent main silent protagonist to actually like a character he has voice lines now and he like talks and stuff and i actually liked it i thought it was really good uh, but they, yeah they really fleshed out the story more and the characters a little more and they made everything more beautiful and graphically stunning and they made the gameplay better it's just great remake exemplary remake but anyways that's not the remake we're talking about today oh my god we're talking about alone in the dark <laughs> why would you bring up dead space who would do that they changed his face to match his voice actor. Oh, did they? I didn't know that. I noticed that he like has a um, a more detailed face, a different face. I learned what tabula rasa means from Cyberpunk 2077. Oh yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to remember. What did I learn tabula rasa from? I don't know. It's the guy from Stranger Things. Is it? I think that is recognizable as a joke referencing last week's game night, but in case it isn't, I love you and I'm not cursing you. But, oh, fuck you, John. <laughs> yeah, we kept, <laughs> we had the prompt of um, draw Garfield after breaking John's flat screen. <laughs> Latin class, presumably. I don't think I learned it in Latin class. I think I learned it in popular culture, more likely. I learned it from like three different TV show episodes. I think Criminal Minds is probably the first. Yeah, it shows up a lot in, in shows and movies. Garfield shows up every time we play Gardic Phone or anything that involves drawing. You know what? By this point, you think I would have remembered how to draw Garfield. All right. Uh, I'm assuming there's deaths in this game. It was possible to die in the original, so I'm assuming you can die in the remake. So I'm going to do a death prediction, but I'm going to keep the... the, the um, increments low because i don't think death is gonna be as common as it was in like a souls game where we had increments of 15 i think for this game i'm gonna do increments of three hopefully that's reasonable i haven't played it yet so i don't know if that's reasonable but that's what i'm doing so the true believers if you really believe in me and my abilities um you will guess one which means i will die zero to three times by the end of the stream also, I'm only streaming for the next two hours, unfortunately, because I fucking suck and I was late today and I can't go late because I have a dinner date planned. And I'm so sorry, but I will only be having a little taste today, two hours of the game. I'll play more tomorrow, though, because to make up for how late I was today, I'm streaming an hour early tomorrow. So we'll have a long stream. Um, but zero to three. Maybe I should do two, actually, because only two hours. OK, I'm, I'm making it even smaller. Zero to two is the true believers. Um, the corporate believers can guess two for three to five deaths. The barely believers can guess three for six to eight deaths. And the certified haters can guess four for nine or more deaths. And you have 30 minutes to get your guess in. Oh, no, I pressed a button and it changed all the answers. I press. OK, hold on. I got to type that again. Zero to two, three to five, six to eight. Nine or more. Okay. Yeah, get your predictions in. Hey. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, by the way, sorry for suddenly leaving on Saturday. I was hanging with family. Oh my God, that's okay. You don't got to apologize. I hope you had fun hanging with the family. Um, All right, I'm launching the game. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Let me unplug my controller. I don't... I think I'll need to play with controller. I'd rather play with keyboard and mouse if there's any aiming involved. You have like a million hours of survival horror. I would be a fool not to put one. Aw, Kim. Oh my God, that's so sweet. And now I'm scared I'm gonna let you down. Cause it's true. I do have like a million hours of survival horror, but guess what else? I have a million deaths in survival horror too. And the count keeps going up. Trying to get the capture to show up. There it is. Is that too loud? That's probably too loud, right? <gasps> Mr. 
Mr. Evil Falcon. Thank you for continuing the gift sub that you got from Julia. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you continue to enjoy all of our emotes and SFX and uh, uh, what are the other? Oh, not no ads. I'm I'm going. Listen, this is for you guys. I'm not scared. I don't care if it's dark. I'm just trying to make sure you all can see, okay? Okay, maybe I'll put it down a little bit. I got it. Bye, Top Hat! That's much too loud. Okay, I'm gonna fix it. Thank you, Mika. Is that better? We're gonna try everything on Epic and see how it goes. Usually the big thing that gives me problems is if I if it's unlimited frame rate while I'm streaming, it'll like drop frames, but if I set it to a constant frame rate of 60, that usually makes everything good. All right, are we ready? It sounds like an old noir movie, it does. I like the vibe. Excited, me too, yourself. I'm so excited to start this. You're so hot and bothered by this moon ass jazz. Yeah. Oh shit, what's happening over there? What does that say? God no. D Dirk Dirketos? Dirketos? We'll probably find out when we start. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? A little the dark is horror noir. I didn't know that's what it was qualified as. It reminds me of a level from Time Splitters 2. I've never played that. All right, here we go. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? I'm going in. Hard. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to see what it said. Wait. Okay. Take it easy. Focus on the story. Same new experience with its intended difficulty. Extra challenge. Monsters are harder. Resources are scarce. Hard. Modern. Extra help providing to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights. Old school for those who want to figure out everything for themselves. No extra systems and kind of player. Yeah, old school, old school, old school. Yeah. Let's go make ourselves miserable and die a bunch and say this game's too hard and blame the game when I chose these settings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Tell me it's not about to get eaten. No! No! Why? <laughs> Hardcore gamer, let's go! <laughs> I, if you, hopefully you didn't already guess Believer before I did that though. But also I noticed that it said the difficulty can be changed mid-game, so if we, it is too miserable, we can change it down. Just wanna play <gasps> and no! Let's hear it too! <laughs> Yes. Thank you. Hi. As in the devil? That looks like the guy Something from Stranger like Things. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Mm. Oh, so pretty. It's Louisiana. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why it's he's the at Everglades? the Everglades? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. Dr. Gray, suspect number one. <laughs> You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff oh, of New all the patients of being involved oh in Oh my god, that's where I live! And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. 
Suspect number two, the, the cult. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. Jody Comer. What would I know her from? Yeah, that's him. My uncle's not <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah pointing sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Wouldn't feel safe. Did you bring a but gun? Why? Yeah. A gun, but you why? Think it'll actually come to that. No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. <laughs> this is really funny, like, character select. <laughs> I knew it. When they started walking, I'm like, they're just walking into character select pose right now. <laughs> oh, the stream, is the stream running badly? I can mess with the graphic settings. Is the buffering mirror? Oh no, it's not. It's not the game. It's my internet. No, I just looked at my internet speeds. They're dropping. Okay, here's the plan. Oh god, I'm sorry. Let's just give it um, like five minutes and see. I thought it was me, and it's limiting loudly. No, it's not you. It's my internet. Uh, let's give it five minutes and see if it passes. Cause that's what happened the last couple times. It just passed on its own. And if it doesn't, we can restart the router. Yeah, very buffering for everyone. No. Killing Eve is what I would have said. I had never seen Killing Eve. What else would I know her from anything else? Free Guy, I don't think. Oh, wait, Free Guy. Is that the movie with Ryan Reynolds in it? About, like, video games? <laughs> I thought it was my internet. No, it's not. It's mine. It looks like it's still slow. I'm just waiting to see if it'll go back up. Sometimes I get these dips and then it goes back up. So I'm hoping it will. And yeah, Alone in the Dark too lit for stream. My cox is flopping again. Ugh. Should I call them? Because when they tell me I got to call them while it's happening or else they can't see what the problem is. So maybe I'll try calling them. I'm just going to mute myself in case I have to give sensitive information. <laughs> 